at the Passover, when he was going to the cross, he said, let me show you how to be great. He walked over there and he girded himself with a towel. And he took a basin of water and he got down at the feet of the disciples. And he said, this right here is how you're great. When you serve one another and when you wash one another's feet and when you serve, you have that heart of servitude. And so, daddies and mamas, let me tell you something. You don't become a slave to your children and just try to give them everything they want. But you've got to be a servant to your family. A, a, a daddy in the right place will not be looking at what gets him better, but he will always be looking at what gets his family better. How can I help my young ones? How can I help my wife? How can, how can I become a, a better servant? Listen, you, this is what the Scripture talks about when it says, how can, a man can, can, how can a man watch over the church of God when he can't even watch over his own household? How many preachers do I know that are Mr. Macho and they treat their family, they downgrade their wife, they downgrade their children, they're not the family man that they should be, but then they get to the church house and they try to be the preacher God wants them to be. Let me tell you, you can't be the preacher you need to be in the pulpit till you learn to be how the daddy and the husband that you need to be at home when nobody's looking. When nobody's looking. Jesus said if you're going to do your alms, do them in secret. Don't sound a trumpet like the hypocrites do that say, hey, look what I'm doing. No, go and do it silently. Give away your alms. Do your good things in secret so that your heavenly Father that seeth in secret may give to you openly. May He reward you. And man, I tell you, these two right here were about to get married and, and I felt it building. Every day it was good. Getting a little bit rougher and a little bit rougher. I was about to pop a fuse on the inside. Not with anger or anything like that, but just because of fear. And every time I would feel this fear rise up in me, I hate it when God speaks to me sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> And I would get to this place of fear where it would rise up inside of me and I'd have that anxiety and that not being sure. And I'd hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me? Don't you trust me enough that you've took care of your family and now don't you trust me to be able to take care of them? Amen? Amen? You see, if you plant good things in your life, they may not come up tomorrow, but if you keep planting, you keep planting hope, and you keep looking to the cross, and you keep making decisions that are right decisions. Let me tell you something. The job that you have, I don't know why in the world I'm doing all this, but the job that you have may not be the job you like. It may not be the job you want, but it's the job that the Lord has put you in and you need to be the best that you can be at the job that you're in. Amen. There is nothing that upsets me more than to see an employee that does something stupid that hinders a business. The other day I was in this restaurant and I was eating lunch. And there was a man that came in there and he ordered his lunch. First of all, he could have bought lunch anywhere. He could have went down the road to McDonald's. He could have went to Chick-fil-A. He could have went to the Waffle House. But no, he chose to go to this place that served food. It was a gas station. And they had a, they had a, a restaurant in it. And I was in there eating. And he came in there and he got the lunch special. He got the, the, the meat and the three sides. And he went over there to the tea thing to get him a glass of tea. And he filled it up with ice. He reached over and he hit the tea thing and nothing come out. And nothing came out of the tea. The man wanted some tea. The girl working there that I knew, I've known her for years, Lois went to school with her. She was back there working. And she yells out, I don't know, that's not my job. And kept on working. And I thought to myself, not your job. Are you not a part of this organization that's going on here? It may 
may not be your work station that you're in. You may not be the one that throws the tea bag over in the middle of the thing. But this is part of a business that you're a part of. And why in the world would you yell out, not my job, and keep on doing your other job? I'd be going and finding somebody some help somewhere or another because they're good enough to grace the place to pay for something that keeps me employed. Amen. 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 This is why the Bible says that everything you do, do it as you do unto the Lord. Even when you're doing a job you can't stand, and I know everybody hates their job, but just be thankful. I saw him. I saw a Hispanic guy riding down the road the other day, and he had a big T-shirt on the back of his bicycle, and it said, "I love my job." <laughs> I thought to myself, man, you wouldn't find many people wearing that shirt where I'm from. Most of them all hate their job. They complain when they ain't got no work, and they complain when they got work. <laughs> Somebody says, well, I got to work overtime. They're grinding and fussing about it. Be thankful that the God of heaven has allowed you an opportunity to be able to plant good things into your life. So many times we, we live in the now. And we don't live in the bigger picture of what God is doing in the middle of all of it. No, that's why it says it's okay to be angry and sin not. Because sometimes things can, can make you angry, but you don't let it bring you to the place to where you sin over it. Things you may not like, but you don't allow yourself to step over into sin with it. Amen? Amen. Listen, folks. You make it. You'll make it if you'll live one day at a time. Yes. Amen. One young at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, one child at a time. You'll make it. <laughs> Amen. One bill at a time. I, I, I ask myself that all the time. I'm like, where does all these bills come from? Where do we get this stuff? It just, just keeps rolling in for some reason. But you know what? We're going to make it. God's a good God. Amen? Stand with me tonight all over this place.